Hey friends, it's Christy, and I'm so excited to be back on the My Favorite Things YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be making a card using the Party Animals stamp set. So I've stamped all the images I'll be using with Black Licorice Hybrid ink on some Nina Solar White cardstock, and I'll be coloring with my Copic markers. I'm starting with my cow, and I want it to be kind of like a Holstein, so I'm using W00, W1, and W3 for the lighter areas of the body. I'm laying in some shadows with that W3, and then I'm going to blend out with the W1, and I'm going right over the spots because I know I'm going to be coloring those in with some much darker grays, and so any of that is going to get covered up. So this just makes it nice and easy to do that shading. And then blending out with the W00 and letting that fade off into the white. I decided to also add a little shadow up under the hairline and I forgot to do the arms on the first pass so I quickly did those. And then I'm going to move on to the kitty. And for her I'm going to leave off the W3 and just use the W1 and W00. So I'm laying in some shadows real quick with that W1 and then blending out with the W00 and really letting a lot of that white shine through so that she can just be kind of a real pale white cat. Then I'm going to do the spots on my cow and I'm using W3, W5, and W7. If you wanted these to be a little bit darker, you could leave off the W3 and add in the W9, but I was going for a more subdued color palette today, so I went with the lighter tones. So I laid in the shadows with the W7. I'm doing her spots and also her hooves, and I'm also going to color in her hair with, um, I used just the W5 and W7 on the hooves and the hair, but I did add in the W3 for the spots just because they were a lot larger and needed a bit more um, variety in that area for more dynamics. Then I'm going to move on to her muzzle. I'm using YR000, YR00, and YR01. I laid in the shadow with the YR01 and also filled in her nostrils. And then I'm pulling that out with the YR00, but leaving the majority of that space for that lightest shade, the YR000, because I didn't want it to get too orangey. I wanted it to be real flesh toned. Then I'm going to do the pig in the same shades, but I'm going to be a lot more heavy handed with my darker colors, especially that YR01. I put a nice wide swath of that color so that he gets just a bit more of that piggy peachy color. Um, so there you can see I left very little space for the YR000, and that's just a way to get more out of your markers. You know, those are both the exact same three shades, but you can see there's quite a bit of difference between them. For the chicken, I'm using E40, E41, and E42. I'm also going to color in the cow's horns while I'm at it. And I did the uh, top and bottom layer of the cake with those three markers as well. Just a nice pale golden brown. And then for the chicken's head, I used E31, E33, and E35. So I wanted to have kind of like a variety of neutral tones for the critters and then add my pops of color in with the different um, accessory images. So I used R22 for the rooster's comb and uh, waddle, I believe it's called. And then I'm going to use R20, R21, and R22 to color in one of the balloons. And then from here on out, I will also be coloring a few accessory images off camera with the same marker shades. While I had these out, I decided to add some rosy cheeks to the cat and the pig with the R20, and I blended the cats back out with the W00. And then I'm moving on to my next shade, which is yellow. For that, I'm using Y11, Y13, and Y15. 
For the next combo, I'm going back to the YR01, which was my darkest on the pig and the cow's muzzle, but now it's going to become my highlight. And I've added in the YR02 and YR04, so I get a nice kind of peachy uh, pale orange. I'm kind of going for a pastel rainbow vibe minus the purple. So for the blues, I'm using BG10, BG11, and BG13. So the BG13 is what I'm starting with down toward the bottom of the balloon. I want it to look darker as it comes to that tied off end, and then, you know, have that highlight where it's nice and full at the top. I also colored in the kitty's shirt with these three shades, and then I used just the BG10 to color in the icing on the top of the cake. Just it had a little hint of color, but just looks white. And then my final combo is YG01, YG03, and YG05. I'm going to color in the last balloon. I thought I would also do the tail feathers of the rooster with those greens. I thought that would just be something a little fun and different. I also did the pig's shirt and the final bow on the gift on the right. And then I trimmed all these images out with their matching dies. For my focal panel, I'm going to take the Vertical Collage Cover-Up Dynamics, and I'm going to die cut that out of a piece of snow cone cardstock. I'll pop all of the inner squares out and set those aside. And then I'm also going to take a piece of pattern paper from the new Spring Whimsy 6x6. I thought that this pretty plaid print went so well with the farm animals. So I'm going to die cut that with the same die and then pop out all of the inner squares. And I can save the frame to use with the snow cone squares for another card. So I'm going to take the largest rectangle that comes out of that die cut and pop that into my Misty to stamp down my sentiment. I'm using the one that says, Nay oink moo, let's celebrate you. I just thought that was super fun and fit really well on that die cut piece. So I stamped that down twice to get a really good impression and the ink that I was using was the Extreme Black, which is great for sentiments. Then I'm popping my card base in my Misty, which is another piece of snow cone cardstock, uh, scored and folded to a standard size card. So it is four and a quarter wide by five and a half tall when it's closed. And I'm stamping the sentiment that says, smile until your cheeks hurt. And then I've got a horse and another little pig and a gift. So now I'm ready to start the assembly and I'm going to add some thin beads of glue all over the back of that collage cover up die. I'm making sure to use really thin little uh, strips so that it doesn't kind of splooge out the sides, but I wanna make sure that every bit of that die cut is adhered well. So I just line that up in the center. It's a little smaller than the card front, so you get a nice little border around the outside. And then I thought the easiest way to add the pieces would be to put the glue down right inside those little holes, and then I can fit the uh, pattern paper squares right inside like a puzzle. So I did all of my squares and then finally added in my rectangle with the sentiment and now I can begin to also adhere my images. So I'm going to be gluing down everything flat to the card. I thought I would keep it all just one level today so it makes it nice and easy for mailing. I'm going to start with my cow and I'm going to put her over on the bottom left. I want each of those little squares to be filled with an image and the cow is taking up two since her balloon extends up. I'll put the kitty opposite her and then in the space above her and between the two of them, I'm going to add one of the little gifts. I've got the taller one above and then the smaller one going between. 
just trying to vary the sizes of the images as they go across. And also I'm not putting them all directly in the center of the square. And I think that just gives you a little bit more interest for your eye. It makes it a little more um, appealing. So some of them are going dead center and then others of them I'll just skew off to the right or left just a bit like this um, orange balloon, that one is going to go a little bit more to the right. Um, the tall yellow gift went a little bit more to the left. And then finally, I'm going to add the rooster, accenting that sentiment in that last little square. So as a final embellishment, I'm adding a little bit of the Spectrum Noir Clear Glitter Overlay Pen to all of the balloons. I'll also be adding it to the frosting on the cake and each of the little bows on the gifts. Just enough here and there to have a little subtle sparkle and shine. So once I'm done with that, I will lift it up to the camera so you can see how that catches the light and give you another peek at the inside as well. And that completes my card for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the April edition of Christy Gets Crafty with My Favorite Things. If you did, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up and you can leave me a comment down below. I love chatting with you guys. And subscribe to My Favorite Things for more inspiring videos just like these here on screen. Bye-bye.